Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. A uh, couple of Loire Sauvignons here from the famous appellation Sancerre and Puy Fumé. Uh, start with the Sancerre, which is Fanny Bougrier Sancerre 2013. Um, no back label, so I can't tell you very much about it. Give it a whirl. I don't know whether it's um, that it's not 2014 um, or whether it's a style in which they've made the wine, but there's a little bit about this that reminds me of Chablis. Probably to do with the soil. I don't know. There's um, uh, quite a lot of um, uh, of that flintiness that you get in in, in, in both wines that uh, sometimes has you experienced tasters uh, messing them up and telling them they not be able to tell the difference between them. You're not supposed to say things like that. Uh, let's see whether when I taste it, there's a little bit more of the Sauvignon sharpness. Uh, but just, um, I'd better sniff it again, hadn't I? Because I haven't told you much about it, apart from the fact that I couldn't mistake it for Chablis. Yeah, can't really go much beyond that. There is this, yeah, dry uh, chalkiness. Um, and maybe what had me going more on the Chardonnay side than, than it is 100% Sauvignon Blanc, uh, there is this more melony type of fruit than the uh, maybe the citrus that uh, I associate, um, and citrus and greenness that I associate more with, uh, more with Sauvignon Blanc. Anyway, I'll taste it. And that's when that nettly edge of Sauvignon kicks in. It is quite a rich wine. Um, nettles and greenness, green grassiness to start with. Yes, some of that melon there. You do get the bit of the citrus kicking in. Maybe if I have a problem with it, it seems to be all up front. And then what you're left with, uh, a little bit of nettle there. But um, I'd like just a little bit more persistence. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Let's try the Puy Fumé, uh, which is Domaine Seguin, uh, S-E-G-U-I-N, um, Puy Fumé 2014, so a year younger, um, and it says a perfect company to seafood, fish and poultry. So in other words, it's as good with, as it is with goose, as it is with um, oysters. Anyway, shut up and taste. And this is much more bright, sappy, hello, here I am, uh, type of Sauvignon. But still, there is this um, very much a soil-like character in there. Uh, there's this crispness and um, a fret. It seems fr it's a year younger, but in terms of the fruit, it feel the fruit feels more pristine, and um, it feels like it's going to be both juicier and sappier uh, at once, richer but also more refreshing. Uh, yeah, it feels like a more interesting wine. And it is a more interesting wine. There's this earthiness that's, that goes through it all. Uh, on top of that, there's this richness of fruit. Uh, these herby bits, uh, a little bit of, um, maybe it's, I don't know if it's fennel, but there's, there's something very herby going on there. And um, yeah, this sappiness, um, uh, juiciness, herbiness, sappiness, these little bits of mineral character flitting in and out, and length. Uh, whereas the first one, uh, yes, he did leave this impression of a, quite a rich wine. Here, it's, it's the flavours of the wine that just keep pushing, pushing through. Um, yes, much more grown up, much preferable wine. I mean, the first one was OK, but um, the second one is uh, a few rungs higher up the ladder. See you soon.